Why are pi and e irrational numbers? Okay, we proved that square root of two cannot be expressed by the ratio of integer, which is the definition of a uh, rational number, right? So we can handle these numbers, but pi and e is a little different. Okay, so I show you how to prove that they are also um, irrational number. Now, when you look at the irrational number in the decimal number expression, it's going to be infinite random number. Like, you know, uh, e is 1.7, so and so, uh, pi is, you know, 1.4, uh, I'm sorry, e is 2.7, uh, continue, pi is 1.4, randomly, uh, digit shows up in digital number. On the other hand, rational number is cyclic decimal number, cyclic means the some uh, decimal number format is going to go forever but um, it's repeat for example simple one is 1 over 3 is going to be 0 0.333 so 3 repeat we put simply 3 dot to show right okay so um, is it true all the irrational number will be random sequence of number and rational number will be always cyclic decimal number or, or simple decimal uh, number okay let's examine this here we're going to prove that cyclic decimal number is the rational number this is how we prove Say we have a cyclic decimal number. Say from here it's repeat and a digit. Same number sequence and digit so and so. Okay, so if we multiply, then it's going to be whatever and a digit and a digit we just shift like a train right then we subtract then this is gonna be truncated so remaining is some rational number so s is rational number divided by 10 and minus 1 that means s is a rational number okay now is rational number always cyclic okay we do this way the, we go backward say s is a rational number so x over n n minus one suppose we can express this way well we can we can multiply 10 to the n minus one to the s will be x okay and that means 10 n s and s we have two kind of numbers so um, we can regenerate the number by separating 10 to the nth s and s and that's gonna be um, cyclic because otherwise it won't um, completely eliminated by shifting this n digit. So um, it's a necessarily sufficient condition that rational number is cyclic decimal number. Okay, and irrational number is necessary. Um, sufficient condition to be infinite random decimal numbers so infinitely randomly generated decimal number 
is always a uh, irrational number. So, taking this another definition of rational number. So we have two different definitions now. P over n is one definition. And let's see. This is the first definition you learn in high school. And this is now the second definition. They are necessary sufficient condition. So the we say if it's not the ratio of integer, it's irrational. Now irrational necessary sufficient condition is infinite random decimal number. Okay. So we use this definition to prove that pi and e are irrational. Uh, there is a uh, format called continued fraction and it's not a single way to express but the tangent x can be written by continued fraction format this way. Now say x equals pi over 4. So tangent pi over 4 is 1. Okay, so this is 1 means it's rational number. Okay, suppose pi is rational number. Assume pi is rational. Okay, then you put pi over 4 rational number on this continued fraction. And if you look at this, it's going to be random decimal number. It's not cyclic decimal number. So we have a contradiction. So pi cannot be rational number. Pi has to be irrational number. Okay? So E is expressed by this. This is a very clever format. Euler, it's the genius of the math. Um, he invented this E and E is expressed by continued fraction in this format. And if you look at this one, again, it's not going to be cyclic decimal number. So therefore, E is irrational number. So now we know pi and E are irrational. So now, probably we can extend this finding to define the third definition of rational number. If ever-changing coefficient shows up in the continued fraction, then it's an irrational number. If coefficient, the same coefficient is repeated, then we can tell whether it's going to be rational or irrational. Okay, that's something to for the research project. But we at least prove that pi and e are irrational numbers using continued fraction, and this important uh, condition. The Irrational numbers show up as a random decimal numbers, and rational number is always cyclic decimal number. Cyclic can be just one cycle, like uh, 
0 0.25 it's doesn't have to be cyclic just regular decimal number but it's never been the infinitely continuing random decimal number so uh, this is good to know this is a little bit beyond the high school but uh, um, it's good to know and prove that whatever your knowledge is proven okay thank you and check other video